Kudat. A land endowed with beautiful stretch of beaches, coconut, rich culture, skillful handicraft producers, and a multitude of other natural resources nestles on the northernmost tip of Borneo. Despite the seemingly privileged status, Kudat Division is still regarded as one of the poorest regions in Malaysia. As a development in urban areas doesn't equally reach the community here, the lack of job opportunity inadvertently forcing the youth and the talented pool of people leaving Kudat for better living standard in cities. While the government is working hard to alleviate poverty, this effort alone is too minuscule to be shared with everyone in such a large district. NGOs such as Rotary Club and Pakos ventured into these less fortunate areas. Best Society, one of the non-profit organizations, had earlier on set its foot in Kudat as early as 1991 with consultation on ecotourism plan such as the formation of Bavang Gazel and Mompilis Longhouse. The self-funded Best Society with financial support from Borneo Ecotours and Sukau Rainforest Lodge requires a massive funding to promote human capital development program in Kudat. In 2009, Best Society received a 2000 US dollar planning grant from GEF SGP in Kuala Lumpur. The grant will be used to facilitate Best Society's plan to develop a small village called Kimihang, about 25 kilometers from the famous tip of Borneo. Kimihang has all that it takes to become a top destination in Borneo where a dazzling beach offering opportunity for beach activities and villas. While the local rungus could promote their unique culture through sales of handicraft, traditional dance and FMB. In a year that followed, a full grant of 48,000 US dollar was handed over to Best Society to develop Kimihang from 2010 to 2012. The two years project was officially launched with the check handing ceremony by the Minister of Tourism on the 5th of May 2010 between Best Society Chairman Mr. Albert Teo and Mr. Mutusami Supia, the National Coordinator for GEF SGP Malaysia at Kimiang Beach. The grant covers beach cleaning and environmental awareness education, tree planting, motivational and life skills seminars, herbal and medicinal garden, virgin coconut oil production, setting up of a community-based ecotourism CBT project involving river and firefly crews, setting up of a code of practice and training of ecotourism guides, conservation and sustainable use of offshore coral reefs and mangrove forests fringing the Loro River. One of the highlights in Kimihang project is the virgin coconut oil of VCO production. Coconut, regarded as a tree with 101 users, does not fit the bill to be a lucrative industry as compared to other cash crops in Sabah like palm oil. Though blessed with coconut trees that fringe the beaches and in, in the backyard of locals, the people of Kudat at the tip of Borneo is not tapping well into these resources as they are alternative cash crops that generate profitable return. Not surprisingly, neither the coconut nor the beautiful beach of Kudat is an asset that prospers the Rungus community. On the brighter side, the use of VCO as a traditional and highly nutritious oil is widespread. Studies had proven that VCO is an ideal remedy to many diseases, including diabetes and heart disease, as well as tonic to a healthier life. Seeing the potential benefits of VCO, the idea of producing VCO in Kudat is timely. This is led to the setup of Kimihang VCO project by Best Society in May 2010. The project was part of 
the Greater Kimihang Environmental Conservation and Community Capacity Building Project. A visual lab was built here while Mr. Roni Onginjan, a local entrepreneur, was appointed as the main coordinator under the GF SGP funded project. During the span of two years, the Visio production in Kimihang showed tremendous growth with the technical support from Best Society. This was coupled with a new labeling that strengthens the branding of this Visio oil. The name Bongo was coined after Borneo Natural Coconut Oil. With the assistance from various government agencies and higher learning institutions, it is hoped that the modern laboratory-based research could help in verifying the scientific usage and subsequently generate profitable income for the Rungus community.